Chronic sinusitis is one of the most common reasons people head to the doctor. Surgery is a last resort, and the recovery is painful. But CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez reports on a new approach that has patients breathing freely almost right away. Breathing freely, it's something Lori Whalen almost forgot how to do. I had um, a great deal of pain and pressure here, in here, all through my head. Like about one out of seven Americans, Lori had chronic sinusitis. When the sinus tissues are so inflamed, fluids don't drain and can become infected. Just a constant malaise for like two months, just feeling horrible. And then finally, I went to the doctor. She's like, yeah, we need to get this taken care of. That led Lori to Dr. Anit Patel, who's doing a type of sinus surgery that's easier on the patient. It's a big difference, yeah. And, uh, you know, traditionally with sinus surgery, you're removing a lot of tissue and bone. These days, we don't do that. With a slender probe and a video monitor, he can avoid any incisions and still open the sinus passageways by removing diseased tissue. Then he implants this device. It's called Propel. A company video shows how after the sinuses are cleared, the device springs open, keeping the sinuses open without packing while emitting a localized steroid over a several week period. It slowly dissolves while keeping inflammation down. That steroid is only local as opposed to taking a steroid by mouth that can have side effects throughout the whole body. Recovery from this procedure is a big improvement. Traditionally, you're out of, out of work for about you know, two weeks or three weeks or so. You have these large packs that come out of your nose, you get the black eyes, and patients can usually get back to work within a few days, if not the very next day. There are some other dissolvable nose packing technologies out there, but this is the first one to use a system similar to that used in heart stents. Our sinus surgery patient said that her teeth cleaning appointments were actually more uncomfortable than her sinus surgery. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. It's true, I know. The device also prevents the sinuses from scarring and closing up again. So yeah. pain. It's like somebody hits you upside the head that. with a baseball bat. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so uncomfortable, yeah. it really is. Let's